So we're demoing Microsoft Robotics Studio in general, which is a development tool for robotics. Um, it includes a programming environment, it includes a simulation environment, um, and, a, and a good deal of um, sample code and uh, documentation and tutorials. So this example is just showing us a, um, a simple approximation of a four-wheel drive vehicle, implementing um, a, the correct steering geometry so that um, this our simulation environment offers a um, physics engine which does a, a somewhat reliable simulation of the real world and if you just naively turn the wheels through the same angle then and apply power to them then one of the wheels will skid just like the differential in the back back as, uh, of the car adjusts the speed of the wheels as well and so this this demonstrates how to build a system that does that and and how to hook the various pieces of our system together so that if someone wants to model a vehicle or if someone wants to model a, a four wheel or a six wheel robot or any number of wheels then this gives them ground for where to do that Let's look at the looking at it visually. We have, I mean, here this is a nice computer graphics view. This is not dissimilar from what you might see in a, in a computer game. Um, but but I can actually also change this. This is showing the uh, the wireframe view uh, of the system. And then I, if I change it again, this is showing what we call the physics view of the system. So we see the in red the landscape, um, but where the the four wheel drive was has a a somewhat detailed view of the of the robot. In the physics view, we just have two boxes and four wheels because, from the physics engine perspective, that's that's the level of fidelity that I want to simulate. That's what a, a vehicle is. Um, so that's one level of what's behind the scenes. But I'm driving that around using just a, a standard um, gaming controller, so I can I can steer and I can drive forwards and, and so on with with the controller. Um, and then a, a key component of Microsoft Robotics Studio is the tool that allows me to connect the controller to the simulation. So I can, that's very simple. I mean, we, we have a visual programming in, environment, and I just have two boxes. I have this box that represents the controller, and I have this box that represents the drive system, and then a wire between them. And that wire has um, the information about how to transform the data from the controller. So, so the block on the left represents the controller and when an event happens on the controller such as the thumbsticks being moved, that, that causes a packet of data that represents that thumbstick, those thumbsticks to move along the wire to the second box which represents the drive system. It has some similarity to LabVIEW, it is a data flow language. It sits on top of our service model um, and can be used in all sorts of environments, so it's fairly simple to use it for controlling robotics, for taking sensor input and controlling, but it can be used for, people have used it for tracking financial data, for example, it's, it's very general purpose. So I used to work for um, a small company in the southern south east of England, and we were acquired by Microsoft in um, 19, 1999, a long time ago now, and, um, and when that project came to an end, I moved over to, to um, Redmond in 2002, and I worked on um, Windows security. I worked on the BitLocker feature in, in Windows Vista. And then when Vista shipped, I came and moved over to the robotics team to do something completely different and exciting. And within the robotics team, I've worked primarily on the visual programming language, on the runtime for that. Uh, what excites you about this field? The unlimited possibilities. There's, no one knows where it's going to go. And, a lot of people have ideas, and it's going to be very exciting to see which ones of those work out. It's really exciting to be in the beginning of something.